Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the database SQL coding exercises. If you are coming into this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to go to the arcade, go to databases, and then we left off on this section at the market report number 23 here. All right, so your company is planning to expand internationally very soon. You've been tasked with preparing a report on foreign markets and potential competitors. After some investigation, you've created a database containing a foreign competitor's table, which has the following structure. So you got a competitor and the country they're operating in. In your report, you need to include the number of competitors per country, an additional row at the bottom that contains a summary. So at the bottom, you need a total colon and then the number of total number of competitors. Given the foreign competitors table, compose a resulting table with two columns, country and competitors. The first column should contain the country name, and the second column should contain the number of competitors in this country. The table should be sorted by the country names in ascending order. In addition, it should have an extra row at the bottom with the summary as described above. So, okay. So here we got the uh, foreign competitors table. Very simple. Competitor name and country they're operating in. And this is the output they want. So for France, we've got two, USA, we got three, uh, and so on, and then just the total at the bottom. All right. So we need two columns. So we're going to select. Uh, so we have if null, uh, country, and then total this. So this is going to be filled in uh, with this roll up. So at the, with the roll up, you're going to have a null. Uh, field for that last last row, so we're just going to fill that in with total, and that's what this if null statement does. And we're going to rename that as country, and then we're just going to count star as competitors because it's just going to count up uh, the number of rows for each country from the foreign competitors table. And then we're going to group by country because they want it ascend ascending order by country name, and then that with roll up. Uh, is just going to put the uh, the eight here. All right. So if we run that, so you'll see my output is the same here as you would expect. So let's just do something a little different here. So let's comment this out just to show you. I'll just comment this out. And then I'll put in just uh, country with the roll up. Just to show you how that is different. So you can see it puts a null here, and that's why we need this if null. And then if I took out uh, this with roll up, what we would get. run that. You can see we'll get the counts um, without that, that total at the bottom. So in the end, what you need, I mean there's other ways you could do this, but this is the easiest way to do it once you know how to use this rollup function. And then just correct for the null that might show up in the country by putting this if null uh, function here and that's it all right I hope you guys are able to follow that I hope you guys join me for more videos in the future thank you very much